right, party people. We are headed up to Jim's. Uh, we're gonna load up the 75 Pete and low boy that back to the to the house. If that'll start run, hold air, and move, um, which it should. I mean, we haven't moved it yet, uh, which I kind of regret doing. That was kind of a poor choice. Uh, the second adventure is we are gonna drive the 65 Pete. If that will start run air up and move so we got another set of filters for it uh that's the adventure and stay tuned man we'll we'll catch up with you as soon as we get there and and update the fun go big let's go let's do this this to happen for an hour. So I'm gonna jump in right here. This is the moment where the wheels went off the bus. I apologize in advance. Listen, the filming's not great. I, I didn't get a chance to do a lot of commentary. Some things didn't get filmed. Um, so it's gonna maybe see a little, seem a little disjointed. Uh, we didn't bring a lot of tools with us. We were way too overconfident. And I was way too overconfident in my ability to tackle things on the fly. Uh, but the biggest thing is, is at this point right here, I should have stopped everything. There was no purpose in putting that truck on before we knew we could get it off. So, whew, here we go. Now, I got it's got front wheels going to go out the door right here. So I'm not sure how high it shouldn't get too high. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I, we. I prefer. <laughs> I was trying to hope not to have him. He likes to snatch things up with that extra battery. These old guys use old loggers. They're all like that. I know he'll snatch them up with that. Sorry, I'm filming I by the, the way. I work for is, they're all buddies. He'll snatch it up and freaking toss everything around. You know, I'm not really happy with me being right exactly right here. Can you be 14? Well, it kind of changed the plans. We got here and they weren't supposed to be here for an hour. And well, that sort of throws a wrench in our entire day. Well, no, I, listen, Jim, Jim don't hesitate to... He's on the move. Yeah, like once he decides to go, he's going to go. Clearly, life's too short for him to sit around. Clearly. Thank yeah. you, too. That's awful nice. I won't, I won't give it to you until you give me the rest of the money. <laughs> I, I don't know a lot of your kind of guys. Oh, what well, my kind of guys? Yeah, yeah. Nice guys? Nice guys. <laughs> yeah, nice guys. Oh, my gosh.
32 inches? That's the correct answer. And always use two extra inches. It was a little not to plan. Apparently, these guys are ruthlessly efficient because this thing was daggum loaded up and ready to go by the time we got there, which was an hour before he was supposed to get there. So we have turned around. I am going to drop Ken back off at his house. Uh, we're going to come up tomorrow, drive the 65, and we're just going to give this thing a follow home. Um, and I'm going to contemplate how to fix that little piece of hood that got ripped off there. I don't know. Anybody know a good fiberglass guy? Taking an interesting turn. Now the rain starts. So kind of a sidebar. These guys are in such a daggum hurry to take off. They forgot to even button up the driver's door. So I'm going to bypass him give you guys some video shot did you figure out where you're gonna drop that at? then why don't you give me a shot of ether? just whip it near the near the intake I don't think you need to murder it, it should cook off pretty easy. Hopefully it starts. They always start. Can you up on something? You got it? Yeah. Thing don't pump up quite right. It's not got any pressure. What's that? No pressure. Usually it'll build up some pressure. Again, we just hit it like 10 times and it went. I do feel this came a little hotter next year. Again, we were supposed to start this at Jim's. Yeah, but I mean. I apologize for putting you out here, but. No, that's, I understand what the picture is. Yeah, that was the thing. Those, the old guys got together. Where are you at? What's in the home? Yeah, well, that's why. I mean, our plan today was to go up there, have this thing started, yeah, shoot some video on it, and then have you come up. And I mean, at that point, it should have been running aired up. What's that? You can't air it up. I mean, you can change the items. I don't understand why he loves to grab things. Yeah, I mean, we might just have to back up and slash it. I'll come up here in the middle of the night in midnight auto. <laughs> Making sure. Is this a start booster or just a starter? I'm not familiar with the Quick start. Now let's see if the quick start. Give us a little more. Okay. All right. 
You know, this thing's a lot easier to get in and out of when it's not up on this freaking trail. <laughs> So I'm gonna pull that filter off there. Oh shit. Left my cans of diesel at Jim's. Yeah. I was gonna pull it off and just fill it with diesel, but I don't have any diesel with me. What's that? You can if you feel like jumping up there, brother. I don't wanna get you in trouble with Willie. Like I say, I just filled it, it up. It should be leaking right now. Usually when I take mine off, they oh, no. start leaking right away. That's cool. Let's there. Yeah, no, I just filled it. Do me a favor and just pump it on, right?
so in the interest of i don't even know how to explain this so i don't know if you guys saw but we were trying to start this thing uh we hit a little ether got it to pop off it idles great idles like crazy as a matter of fact it idles so great we couldn't shut it down uh and i i wish i'd gotten to film it but if you see that pile of diesel there how we finally killed it and it, it, this is gonna make no sense but you'll you if you were there you'd understand so we pulled the brakes off springs are broke um they should be off in theory but some were some weren't uh basically oh these are new tires interesting um so long and short we tried to choke this thing out with a board and we couldn't get the screw the bands off the turbo and if we went further down the air cleaner it just collapsed everything and enough air hissed around the rubber that it kept running so we tried to put it in high gear this thing is not building air so we're gonna have to figure that out but as you can see it just it just dug a hole and left one tire hanging up in the air so we absolutely could not kill it um so anyways we're gonna get up here with the shop truck and get to work on this and uh get it home but uh that was an adventure I, I have to say i've never never had something like that happen before anyways uh we'll check in soon cheers yeah so we're so cool this pete's getting towed for the second time today i'll explain all that to you in a minute if i haven't explained it already but we gotta tug it about a mile to the house all right good to go Spin a loop and then back it down the driveway. So, for you guys who just love picking up machines and snatching them around, uh, 
see and granted it was rusted but he ripped that airline right out of the top of that airbag and then you got I mean this beautiful piece of handiwork so I got a guy who's uh, he's got a mill and putting together another one of those but for a guy who doesn't get cranked up very much that to me that kind of stuff it's an aluminum frame truck right it's not a Tonka toy I don't think there's any reason that you can't just start it and drive it you don't have to go ripping it around all the time but what do I know all right bye I think the next question becomes I mean in all seriousness how do we how do we get to the daggum thing I want to do this a little differently I'm just going to jack this high enough that we can get jack stands up under the front here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Pull one of these plug wires. Pull a plug wire here? Mm hmm. Pull that spark plug. Here, see if this one fits. Put it over the top. Should be a, should be a deep well, like 15 to 16 or three quarters. 